It's based on the novel by author Ali Novak. 15-year-old Jackie Howard has her world turned upside down after a tragic accident takes the lives of her mom, dad, and older sister. I mean, already off to an emotional start. Oof. Jackie is sent to live with the rambunctious Walter family mm -hmm. in the small town of Silver Falls, Colorado, and uh, let alone in a bustling house of 12. Yes. 12 people. Yes. So two of the Walter boys catch Jackie's eye, and that, of course, leads to a complicated love triangle mm. that starts the moment she walks in the door. Oh, hey, guys. Guys, can you stop that for a second? This is Jackie. Jackie, that's Alex and Isaac. What's up? Got another bag out in the truck if you can go grab it. Uh, yeah, yeah, sure thing. Hi. Hello. The commentary coming from the, the control, control room, room is right in now. love right now. Joining like, us this, this is all we want. <laughs> Joining us this morning to catch up on the rodeo of emotions is actor Ashby Gentry. Welcome to New York Living. Thank you for having me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we love when when celebrities watch themselves on <laughs> screen. So, do you? How many times have you seen that scene? Uh, I've probably seen that scene like 20 plus times uh -huh. before just watching it over and over and mm -hmm. over again and then after it comes out, watching it over and over <laughs> yeah, and over yeah. again. And? Um, but never been advertised watching it. Right, um, yeah. So I, so what do you think when you see it? You're like, is When it I do that little smile, like there's a part of me that wants to reach up and go, just grab it. <laughs> And I'm like, and I'm like, oh, maybe I should. I'm like, but that's me. <laughs> that's yeah. you. That's, yeah, that's that crazy. is the look of love at first sight. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, totally. Uh, I want someone to look like look at me like that. Breaking news as of I believe yesterday. Congratulations are in order. Season two officially got the green light. Yes. Yeah, we're we're really excited and we're really grateful. Um, and they they dropped that on us totally un unexpected. We were doing a photo shoot. And then they showed up and started filming us, and they had our showrunner right. uh -uh. on the phone. And, and the comments crazy. apparently were crazy. It was like, Christmas came early. This yeah. is the best way <laughs> to start the new year. You're telling me I got a job next year. That's I was like, right. there we go. Merry Christmas. Merry yeah. Christmas yeah. and a happy yeah. new year. Right. Now, when will we begin shooting season Anywhere? So I'm asking for us, fans, people yes. at home watching, but most importantly, our line producer, Brittany, because yes. she binged and was like, I'm ready for season two right now. Well, obviously not till next year, mm -hmm. but as of when next year, I have no idea. Okay. Hopefully... Um, soon we shot in April of 2022, mm -hmm. so maybe April of maybe 2024. Maybe April. Okay, so sooner know. rather than later. Go ahead. Okay, so <laughs> for folks who may not have seen the the, the, sh the show yet, you play a sophomore. Yes. In high school. Yes. But you are not a sophomore in high school in real life. No, but I have been one. That's before, right. So okay. I speak from experience. Yes. Yeah. There you go. So what unfolds next in in this? in this romance, this this love triangle of a very crowded house. Well, it's like a combination of re prior resentment with uh, the beautiful blonde right there. Mixed with, um, mixed. And he's not talking about me. He pointed no, to the man on the poster, no, okay? I, no, but I could be. I easily oh, could it. be. Mm -hmm. um, She's our yippet. And, uh, and then this, uh, this uh, beautiful brunette right here enters into Alex Walter's life and uh, mm. and things go upside down um, and then what happens after that you'll have to watch and find out. Well, exactly. We don't want to give too much away, but but you you know you're talking about these two and and we saw the video of you getting the phone call and um, it, it's become abundantly clear to us that you guys are very close knit. Yeah. You are kind of like an on screen but also more importantly an off screen family, uh, and we hear that there's. Something that you guys do involving the number three, something with cinnamon rolls. Oh yeah, what what is what's what going is, on with this relationship give us the off team. camera? Yeah, yeah, we. That's the most surprising thing about this show is that everybody actually likes each other. There we go. A Love lot. It. Oh yeah, there we are. That's us in Vancouver. Netflix was like ripping our our like iPhone pictures from our vacation that we took. I'm like, a good looking group. You guys got to credit us for that? No, I'm joking. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's crazy to like see yourself on a poster. You're yeah. just like, oh wow, I guess that is me. That is. Um, yeah. Imposter syndrome. But yeah, we love each other. A you lot. have a genuine yeah. They're friendship. like my they're like my brother and sister. Truly, we're like family. Um, so when you mentioned the the rakishly handsome blonde, this one, not this one. Yes. Th is there um, was there some sort of thing you guys did before you started actually oh, yes. shooting to like dial into the into your characters <laughs> and then we would um, when we started the project, we'd be like maybe we shouldn't like talk to each other because we're like enemies. enemies. Oh, enemies and on so screen, right? So we would right? fist bump and then we... 
And after Deadpan. that, yeah, we would be silent for the whole day. And then we kind of ditched it. And it was funny because on the days where we were actually supposed to be like antagonists to each other, we'd be like, hey man, what's up? How you doing? <laughs> and we would like forget about the whole fist bump thing. And then we were like, oh, you know, oh, maybe shoot. we don't need to do this. Maybe we can just like be buddies. And then just when they buddies. call action, like, then really get into it's it. Hard. I can't imagine having to be like, to have not run my mouth with you. Right? The impossible. We would, we, would be, we would fail as actors. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, now, we also understand that you got horseback riding lessons with a real certified cowboy yes, for the show. What absolutely. was that like? Yeah. Uh, our, well, I worked with Mark Nugent and Bailey Milan um, under the supervision of John Scott, who's like the king of Calgary. And Calgary. Uh, they oh. teach the pros. They've taught Leonardo DiCaprio, Brad Pitt, um, the best of the best they shoot up there. They were telling me about Leo in The Revenant. And how oh, my God. Right before he had to do a scene, he was really nervous. And Mark looked at him. He's like, well, you're an actor, so just act yeah. like you know how to ride a horse. And Leo goes, huh. Okay. And then uh, <laughs> and perfect and then after that. So, had you yeah. ridden a horse before getting this role? Mm, I had once, and it... It ran me into a tree. Oh, well. Um, but, Ay, but none of that happened on this set, Excellent. so I've improved significantly. There you go. Those you... horses are also really trained, too, so right. it's a little better. Will you leave acting and become a cowboy? God, I'm liable to at this <laughs> point. <laughs> you know, I, be, pre shooting this show, I'd have been like, huh, that's weird. After shooting this show, I'm like, oh, maybe. maybe. You never know. It's a little, a little bit more stability there. Sure, sure, yeah. sure. Right. Yeah. Now, do you think that you and your character, I know he's more of like a soft-spoken in, you know, we've got the jock and then we've got the soft-spoken, quiet gamer guy. Do you have any similarities to him or yeah, are you completely different? We're very similar in okay. what we are, but we're very different in how we present. Okay. And that was one of the notes our showrunner gave me. Just, she was like, you're so confident and you're so loud. She was like, be quiet and shy. And I was like, okay, I can try that. <laughs> um, but we're both... We're both romantics at heart, and Aww. so I connected there with him. Yeah. I love this. So the the sign of a of a successful show is that there are teams, yeah. right? There's <laughs> team this or team that, uh, team Alex or team Cole. You know, that's such a long, <laughs> long answer. <laughs> I'm gonna say, uh, I think I'm team. I'm team, eventually they'll all find someone that makes them really, really happy. Brittany, you like a <laughs> Brittany, do you like Brittany, a gentleman? Brittany probably called it. She knew it. <laughs> like, she said he's going to say team, he wants everybody to find That's the person. Right. Yeah, like oh, my God. Ashby. This has been so fun. So fun. Um, thank so you guys fun. so much for having me. Thank you I really so much for joining us. Continue and come success. Back. Hello, I'll after season back two. Yeah, once want. we get season two under the books, there's always a spot for you Absolutely. here. Okay? Absolutely. Thank you so much. And season one right now of My Life with the Walter Boys is streaming on Netflix. Go watch it.